Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming Tumbling Pandas 2, which is round two of my TBR game that I played for the first time last month. And the basics of the game is that I use my bamboo, my magical, magical bamboo right here, and I drop the pandas in and then I pull out the bamboo after what the dice tells me and then we get books based on which pandas they fall. Yay. So I haven't like officially set a number of the rolls I do. Last time I think I did an actual roll because I got so few books. This time I did a less roll, I think, because it became very risky, you will see. But basically I would say I always do five rolls and then if it's too few books, then you shall see. It depends a lot what the dice gives me because if it gives me really high numbers after one another really fast, then there won't be almost any bamboos left for more rolls. But yeah, you will see in this game. So just let's get into the first roll. You will get the gist of it there. Let the pandas tumble. Oh. Roll number one. Six. No! One. Two. Three. Four. I'm taking away all my security on the bottom. Five. Six. Got one panda. Number 12. For the first roll, we already had one panda falling. We had panda number 12, which you can't really see that well. This is the panda, by the way, I forgot to show you. They were small and cute. And this is a panda called Nikki and I asked Nikki, one of my best friends, to come up with a prop for it because it's named after her. She told me to pick a book that is set in New York because she lives in New York and she was like, haha, then you always think about me. There's many books set in New York and I was trying to find one that I already own and I found one. I'm not particularly super excited but I'm gonna read it and that is Here's to Us by Becky uh, Batali and Adam Severa. This is a sequel to What If It's Us, which is a book they co-wrote following these two boys that meet each other in New York City. And then this is two years later, the sequel. People didn't love the first book. I thought it was fun and entertaining and like fine. And I am curious to see like what the sequel will hold. I hope it gets the ending we wanted in the first one. And it's set in New York. I at least get to read something off my TBR. Also, man, I got the book. It was a bit ruined. So that's sad, but I will survive. Now we go on to roll number two. Roll number two. Six. One. Two. Fuck. Three. Four. Five. <sighs> Six. Two pandas, 21 and... What? 13. And again, in roll number two, we got six pulls, which we got in roll number one. So we already pulled 12 bamboos only in two rolls, which is insane to me. I don't know what's wrong with the dice. And again, we had two more pandas falling, which was 21 and 13. I don't know why I'm showing you the pandas. It's not after you can see them, but... I am still showing you them. Panda number 21 is called Barbara, and that is to read a TBR veteran, because my grandma <laughs> was named Barbara, and uh, I named it after her, and you know, TBR veteran, because you know, it's an older book you have. My grandma was old, and I picked out the TBR veteran that I have, which is the next one in the True Blood series. We have book five, which in English is called Dead as Doornail, in Norwegian is called Come to Dudden. 
two different, completely different meanings, but okay. And I've just been reading through the series. I own it for literally like 10 plus years. And I finally started it last year and I'm just trying to get through to it when I can pick it out for my TBR. It's really like fast, quick paced books that I can just chill with. And of course, I follow Saki Stackhouse who can read minds and then she gets involved with vampires that are out of the coffin and they need to live off synthetic blood or are they? And then she gets involved with like, many different vampires and other mystical creatures. I am also currently rewatching the show, so it's they go kinda hand in hand as I'm watching it, so it fits well that I'm reading book five now. And panel number 13 is called Rebecca, and that is to read an Asian author. I just kinda gave some prompts to some pandas. After that, I'm reading The End of All Skies by Vincent C. Sales. I got this as an arc from the Penguin Random House C, outside Asia thing, and I feel like I need to read it. I don't know anything about the plot. I just got it and I am gonna read it. I was planning to read this for a vlog anyway in the month. So I kind of got in everything I needed for that vlog in my TBR, which is really great. Don't know anything about the plot. I just kind of get books and I'm just, I'm like, sure. So we should see if I like it. I don't know. It has released it in November as well, so yay. Then we have rule number three. I'm gonna run out of leaves before we do all our rolls. Rule number three. We got one. One. And in roll number three, as you can see, I only got one pole and no pandas fell. So that was a great thing. I don't know how we got from six poles to one pole, but here we are. So we will go on to roll number four. Roll number four. We got one. <laughs> this is rigged. One. And again, in roll number four, we got one pole and we didn't get any books falling because we only got one pole or one bamboo or whatever I'm calling it, which was again, great. So I was just thinking, maybe we need to do another roll. We only have three books. Well, wait until you see roll number five, which also sadly is the last roll because, well, there wasn't that many bamboos left, was it? So sorry about that. I know some people maybe would want me to do a six roll for the riskiness of it, but at that point I was terrified, so I didn't. Roll number five. We got six! What is wrong with this dice? One. Ah! Two. Four. Five. I wish you guys can see how many just fell. Take it a bit behind. That was six. We got eight panels in that row. And I will go through the numbers. And the oh my god. And then I touched it and another one fell. We got nine panels. I will go through all the numbers in the other part of the video. So we got six pulls once again. And we got in that roll nine pandas. Just in our role. So we ended up on 12 books and I also need to read some other books outside this game. And I know, again, people might be want me to, you know, roll again because it was really, really risky there in the end, but I was just like, I'm not doing it. It's my game, it's my rules, I decide. I hope you enjoyed that nerve wracking time. The last panel fell was also just cursed. And now I'm gonna go through all the books for these pandas. First we have number 23, and that is Gary, and that is to read a middle grade. Gary is also for adoption, but no one has adopted him yet. So if you didn't know, you can adopt a panda if you're part of my Patreon, and you would decide the prompt for that panda. It will keep its name though, but just so you know, that is an option as well. But the middle grade I decided to do, which is over here, is Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Alson. So obviously this was just released in September, and I've been so, so excited to read the sequel for Amari, and I was just like, I got a middle grade and I thought about Amaria once, but I was like, but do I want to read it this month? And I was thinking and thinking and thinking and then I was like, yeah, 
it's the only one like I feel like reading at all. So I just went with Amari and so far Matibira looks very manageable, like really chill books. So I'm really happy about that. Then we got Panda 22, which is called Linguini and that is to read a book that is translated. You know, True Blood that I had earlier is translated. Obviously I need to pick a new book. So I am reading only Castle in the Mirror by Misuku Tsujimura. So this one I just got. And I've been so, so excited for it. I've been waiting for it for like months and months and months, I feel like. It is obviously translated from Japanese. And the thing is that I don't even know the plot. I've just been seeing this cover. I have Nikki who I like really, really loved it. And I know other people really loved it. And it just seems like a really atmospheric, beautiful book that I will enjoy. And when we got this prompt, I was thinking about other books. Like I could read books translated to Norwegian, etc. But I ended up with this one, even though I had no plans whatsoever to read it now in November. But I'm just doing it because it's the first one I came up with and I really want to read it now. So we are doing it. And now I can't tell you anything about the plot as per usual because I don't read synopsises apparently. Then we got Panda 25. I'm pretty sure we got this panda last month as well, which is Gigi. It's named after my best friend's dog and no one has adopted her. So that's why I just gave her a round of prompts is to read a brown book. And I'm pretty sure I got that last month as well. So I'm just reading one book for that vlog I was talking about. So that is The House on Color Sombra by Margot Ortigas. And this one, again was sent to me by Penguin Random House. So I'm just reading all of the books in the vlog. It will come in November now because I literally picked out all the books. I was planning to do it in October, it didn't happen. I haven't read the synopsis. That is a lie. I have read the synopsis. I just don't remember what I said. So I will tell more about what I have about in my vlog. But again, it is really brown, has a brown door, so it fits for the prompts. Yay. I don't know what's with the thumbs up today, but yay. Then we got Panda24, which name is Thin and is adopted by my patron, Cece. And Cece chose the prompt to read a friend book. She was like suggested as read something from a friend's TBR or like something from their feed. And I ended up picking the last book for 12 friends who recommend 12 books challenge. I feel like it fits really well for the challenge, you know, it's a friend who recommended me a book. So that is a challenge that went around on like book Twitter, etc. earlier this year. Our books were out for it and this is the last one I need to read to complete that and I'm thinking I would do like a little wrap-up video for the challenge when I'm done with it. So the last one I need to read is Exiliary Justice by Anne Leckie. This one was recommended to me by my friend Taina and I am just very excited to read it. I think it's sci-fi thingy. I hope it's not too complicated for me but it is one of their favorite books so I am excited to see if I will like it and I bought it in the beginning of this year to read it for this challenge. It's the last one left, it's the last one standing. Perfect for this prompt so thank you Cece for that. Then we had Panda 26 which is called Mochi and it is also adopted by my Patreon Fiji and Fiji gave me the prompt to read a book as cute as Jimin from BTS if you didn't know and I was thinking when I got the prompt that there is no way in the whole world ever that a book could be accused as demon because it's not possible. It is impossible. Like it, it's just, it, it doesn't, it can't happen. So I just found a cute book on my TBR and I just made it as cute as demon by just making it Jimin. So this is Kiki Delivery Service by Eiko Kadono. This is obviously also translated from Japanese and it is the book that is based the Studio Ghibli movie on. But as you can see, Kiki has now turned into Jimin because that's the only way to make this book as cute as him. It's the only possible way to do it. I feel a bit bad for Kiki now, but how else would I read this challenge? It's not, not possible. Very adorable drawing of Kiki behind hair, but obviously it could be Jimin. That's just, that's just how you do it. And this book, Follows a Witch, I think, and she moves to the city. I don't know if it actually is very similar to the movie, but the movie is adorable. I am excited to read this book and I've been wanting to read it for quite a long while. So now I am going to do it just because it is as cute as Jimin, as you can see, because the only thing that could be as cute as Jimin is Jimin himself. Then we got Panda Tree, which is named Oleander after my best friend. And I got this last month as well. And he picked a book with flowers on the cover. So the books I picked now, I realize doesn't have flowers on the cover. So I was wondering, gonna read A Flutter in a Colony by Sandeep Ray, which is again for that same vlog I was talking about earlier. And I just thought that these things here are flowers, but they're like plant things. Can plant things count as flowers? Or are they done only just leave? Uh, questioning everything in my life right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna count this as flowers, just because it's plants on it. I know a plant is not a flower, but I'm just counting a plant this time, okay? 
I don't bother finding your new book. It ruins all my plans. So scream at me if you want, but I'm just doing it like that. Then we have Panda29, which is called Levi, who was also up for adoption, but no one has adopted him. And that is to read a manga. I just gave the unadopted pandas random prompts. And you know, I always read manga. I'm gonna read manga throughout the whole month, but I think a special manga needs to be chosen when I get a manga prompt specifically. So I am reading Berserk Volume 3, yay! Which is obviously continuing Berserk, the series by Kintaro Miura. And this is not Volume 3, it's Deluxe Volume 3. So it's several volumes in one. And I read one or two, I have vlogs on that on my channel. And I'm very excited to read the third one. I've been wanting to do it like for the last two months. I just haven't had any time. Because like it takes a little while to get through it as well as like filming the vlog at the same time. But they're just so good and I just, I feel like I want to read at least one a month and haven't been doing that, so I'm very excited. Also, you can see the camera reflected in the in the book. But yeah, very excited for those guts, our swordsman who just lives a really harsh life, finding demons. We find out his past. It's very sad, it's very brutal. I love it. And then we have Panda7, which is named Steph after Steph Loves. And she gave me the prompt to read a book with your favorite trope. And I got this last month as well. And then I chose the trope as someone gets an ability. This month I'm choosing a different trope. I do like the one bad trope because I think it's hilarious and stupid. So I googled books with one bad trope and I got up a few options. So I just picked one of those that I own. And then for the last panda we have panda number four which is named after Erica, my best friend, who then chose the book to read a small book because she's tiny. She's small, okay? She's not tall. And for that, I just chose the last book for that vlog I was talking about, which is My American Sister by Judy Tam. Seems to be a pair of sisters that get split up, perhaps, and then they fight each other, maybe. And it's a small book, it's less than 200 pages, it's like 230 pages. So it's a very small book. And again, it was sent to me by Penguin Random House C, as I said earlier, as well as the other ones for this vlog. So yeah, I think it will be an interesting vlog reading a bit of different books and has a nice theme to it. So yeah, I got all of the books for that vlog in my TBR, and I also have like one or two more vlogs I might want to do in November. So yeah, it's looking good, but it's not looking good. Sad, sad. Then for two other books that I need to read this month, I am still doing the Best Wordathon challenge, which I forget to mention all the time in my TBRs, but I have been reading books for it throughout the whole year, which is obviously created by Books and Lala, and the word in November is to have ing in the title, like morning. So we have ing here, Star by Purse Brown and this one is the third book in the Red Rising series and this was also a series picked out, the series I need to finish this year. That challenge is going spectacular to hell because while well, I have read a lot of the books in that series, I have a lot left and I don't know how I will do it in November and December because I am now focusing on finishing these vlogs that I never got to do. So maybe December will be the month I will actually read all the sequels I've been talking about, we shall see. But yeah, here here's the book. And I didn't love the second one at all. The first one was okay, but second one I didn't love at all. So I don't really have any hopes or expectations or excitement for this one. But I'm gonna read it because it was fitted for that challenge and I need to read it. So there we have that. And then of course I'm reading Facing Gaze for the month, which is my book club that I'm co-hosting where we read queer stuff. I've had to say every single month. The book we are reading in November is Hell Follow With Us by Andrew Joseph White, which has this stunning, really fascinating cover. I really, really like the look of it. I think it follows a trans person. I don't know if they're a teen. 16 year old, they are definitely a teen. And it stuff happens. I don't have no idea what but I'm gonna read it to find out. Did I read the synopsis? Absolutely not. I did I look at the cover and said, yeah, sure, we can do that, this one. That's what I did. And it's gonna be a great time, so join us if you want to read it. That is all books officially on my T-Bar for the month. I definitely need to read more if I want to get through those vlogs I was talking about, even though my reading has not been that great lately. And yeah, I will try to read manga between every third full length book, so you will see what manga I read when. I post my wrap up or if I do vlogs or whatever I would do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my little game. Even though it wasn't that many rolls, I hope it was a good time. And you should see me soon in the new one. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Patreon down below if you want to support my channel further. And you should see me soon in a new one. Leave a panda emoji down below if you enjoyed this. And you should see me soon. Bye!